In the beginning, there was poker. Eventually, poker evolved to online poker. Now the bar has been raised. The game will never be the same. Again, a giant step in evolution. A revolutionary new website. Hello, and thank you for taking an interest in Extreme Games and our funding campaign. We have developed working technology that allows you to play online games as if you were seated at a table talking to your opponent. Imagine playing online games and experiencing the same atmosphere and interaction you had while playing them in person. All of us here at Extreme Games realized early on that the current and overall state of gaming has changed drastically over the last 10 or so years. Games are being developed at exponential rates and literally impossible to track. Unfortunately, few are able to keep our attention for long periods of time. They are missing a key sustainability element. Taking a look at the current landscape of the gaming industry, we find more than 250,000 games. That number changes on a weekly basis. Recent trends in social gaming, which are meant to expedite how quickly we bring games to market and have them spread across social groups, only seems to highlight the integral flaws that this industry faces. They continue to miss the mark and that one key element. The current pitfalls and challenges associated with game development cannot be solved by increasing a budget, design, software, hardware, or even your marketing efforts. All of us at Extreme Games are avid gamers and grew up with a passion for gaming along with all of the associated benefits that are meant for those games to provide. These challenges can only be overcome by infusing one missing element which gaming has enjoyed throughout the centuries and has mostly lost in only the last two decades. That is the human factor. It's the human factor, the live and instant interaction that brings games to life and sustains them. This is not to be confused with social gaming, a term often misused. Taking a standalone game and simply uploading it or integrating it with a social network does not necessarily make it a social game. If the core functionality and user interaction isn't modified as well. You see, it is that specific component, the human factor which gave games such as Monopoly, Life, Pictionary, and others the ability to maintain sustainability throughout decades instead of just months. Back then, toy stores maintained an inventory of fewer than 20 games and not the 250,000 plus available today through online app stores. Yet it was these games that always found a way to gather a crowd and provide nights of enjoyment we seldom ever experience today. So what is this human factor and what is needed for it to once more take its place within gaming? Simply put, we see our opponents or teammates. It adds that unique feel and experience which no software will ever replicate. The look in their eyes when they land on Boardwalk or Park Place, the outburst from all concerned when the dice lands and reveals the exact number needed to win the game. The shared tension and emotion between teammates which can only be communicated with a glance, laughter, despair, and the occasional comment to affect your opponent's psychology. These are all of the things that the human factor brings to the games and the overall gaming experience. This human factor is what Extreme Games plans to bring our users with every game we release. One of the games most dependent on that human factor throughout its history has been poker. No other game 
has lost more soul while making its transition to online play. There is no poker face, and it's sorely needed. This is exactly why we looked to tackle poker as our first release. The video you see demonstrates a live table with all participants using their cameras. They are talking to each other, and as you will see from their smiles and interactions, this is not the online poker experience we have been forced to partake in these last 10 or so years. This is the experience we grew up with playing in garages, smoke and beer filled basements, and anywhere we were lucky and fortunate enough to get a few or more of our friends together. We have returned poker to its original and intended form, live and instant communication between our players. The preliminary feedback from our alpha testing community has been overwhelming. Players who would normally play for only 30 minutes at most found themselves playing for hours. Never again will they have to return to playing without the ability to see their friends and opponents during gameplay. It's online, but it's totally interactive and worthy of the moniker social gaming. It's social from the get-go, and it's social to the last hand played. Once poker has been successfully rolled out, which we anticipate taking place after 90 days of testing, we will have a closed beta phase and an open beta process. We will begin looking into the next games on our list. In all instances, our design include the ability to see and speak to your opponents in real time during gameplay. We will be focused on global stables such as chess, checkers, backgammon, and dominoes for starters, expanding from there to all sorts of skill-based games. We thank you for your support, and now join us and become that human factor.